Hello everybody and welcome to the Sports Inside Angle, where we're always on time and never behind. So tonight, I'm going to be talking about the Lakers versus the Milwaukee Bucks and give you the links to watch the game for free if you don't already have it. Links in the description. Anyway, let's jump right on into it. So tonight, the Sports Inside Angle is no more, grow more. And what I mean by that, Laker fans, is if you know more, you can grow more. Which means the season is getting short. So you need to focus on knowing as much as you can about live basketball, professional NBA basketball. Allowing you to grow more before the season is over. So that during the offseason you can use these tools and these learning elements to grow yourself in the offseason to become better when you go into the next season. So tonight we have the return of Josh Hart which is much needed. And I was looking forward to being able to see the entire young core together on the floor. And hopefully, maybe Lonzo Ball will play. He's questionable. But it seems as if every time we get one guy up, another guy goes down. It is late in the season, so I know everybody's kind of nicked up. Everybody's, you know, just trying to finish, make it to the finish line. We're not going to the playoffs this year, but we we still had a very good season. Close to 40 wins here. If we can get it done, that'll be a great improvement over what we did last year. Although we're going into our fifth season with no playoff runs here for the Lakers, our future is looking bright. Our cap space is definitely, definitely flexible. Our uh, executive management is looking very, very good for the new season. Isaiah Thomas hurt. Um, wasn't a big part of our team this season anyway. Came very late. Also, our young core is looking, oh man, it's looking awesome. Kuzma looking like a straight killer. You know what I mean? Brandon Ingram, young. Oh, man, did you see the crossover the other night? Very, very good. Josh Hart. Oh, man, I, I'm hoping that we would be able to keep Julius Randle. Probably not going to happen if we get max guys. If we get two max guys. But the way I'm looking at it now, we can keep the same roster at Paul George. And we're pretty much, we're pretty much ready to go. Because, I mean, the way Brooke Lopez has been playing, if you play uh, him and then put Bully at the four, you know, Ingram at the three, you know, and I mean, I don't know. It's looking real good here because we got so many guys that you can swap in and out. And this thing could turn into, you know, just just a highly hybrid, uh, highly good offensive team that could win from anywhere on the floor, inside, outside. Good defensive team, running very fast, great point guard uh, system. I mean, everything's looking good for us. So, you know, our future is looking bright. Tonight, we have to know more to grow more. So tonight is just focusing on knowing more about the game, learning more about the NBA, becoming better young players, and taking out Yantas. These guys are gonna want to come in and they're gonna wanna they're gonna wanna you know show out. They're on their way to the playoffs. They wanna show out where they're trying to get in. And so, you know, they're gonna try to show out. And uh, Anthony Tatupo, he's a pretty good player. So, you know, I know the Lakers are gonna handle business tonight, and I'm glad that you guys are still sticking around even though we've had a tough season. If this content is helping you and you enjoy the links and everything, please comment, like, and subscribe. This is the Sports Inside Angle.